What's up guys, it's CPST here, and today I'm bringing you another Fallout segment on, you can tell by the title, the T-51 arm power armor, plus two very good weapon, rare weapons. First I'm going to show you is the railway rifle, as you can see it shoots railway spikes, does 100 damage, and that's it, as it is. I haven't done anything with the damage, but I have added an automatic piston receiver to make it automatic, plus a review scope. Damage range has got 107, but without the scope it's 86. So it's now it's 69 without the, without the scope. And 87 accuracy without it. It weighs 80 pounds and a value of 540. Next I'm going to show you is a cryolator, which I said during my first part of the video when I hunted the death floor, I was going to show you what this thing did. It is a free, it's more or less freeze gun. So you might as well call me Captain Cold when I use this. You see, fire rate of 90, damage 71, accuracy 66, 13.2 pounds, and a value of 350 caps. This has no mods on it at the moment, but I will be changing that for later videos and I'll show you what I've done. But the piece to resistance is this armor. You can find this armor all the way over here. There is a crashed military ship. In the there into the river, and basically, all you have to do is hop in the hacking novice terminal, and then boom, you have yourself some kick ass power armor. So, let's go kick these raiders' ass, and I'll show you what you can do. And da -da 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 -da. look, dead already, dead already. Boom, that's 100 damage a shell for every hit. I just can't, you just don't can get it better. So it fires railroad spikes, so you can find it near up every single vendor. It's a really, really good weapon. I personally enjoy it. It's one of my best weapons I've ever found in this game. Look, just look how much health that takes off. And just a quick push to the face. Also, sometimes when you shoot at them, maybe sometimes you can get uh, spikes back from them. It holds 10 spikes at once, which means it is quite a good gun. Alright, now for the freeze gun. Nope. Ta da! 20 fiber mag, and it uses cryo ones, cryo ammo, which are incredibly expensive and incredibly hard to come by in the wasteland. But, when you leave Vault 111, this is a weapon. That you see behind the master lock. Like I said, I just explained where you get it. You use the master lock to open up the to open up the cage, and then boom, you have it. Easy. Okay, easy go go. Alright, that's what I'm sorting here. Okay, I'm getting on top here. Alright, I need to find some. Let's. Alright, I'm guessing there should be some enemies because it will it's going no. Alright, I guess no need to try this out. So I'll find some people to It does 25 damage and it does freeze them for a limited time. So in all fairness, it's a good one to have out in the waste, especially when you're taking on something big that may be a master, a through, or even a freaking behemoth. Which I will be getting to in later videos. But for now, I want to know what do you guys want to see? Let me know in the comments down below. Do you want me to carry on hunting my death claws? Do you want me to hunt a behemoth? Or do you want me to continue finding rare weapons and armor for the wasteland? Or do you want to see my base? Do you want to watch me set up the base up? I honestly have no idea. Alright, let's find some mutants. I knew there's some mutants around here. But just the consoling. Okay. Let's head to the brewery. Probably now we're getting pissed. Hello! Mutant! Oh, hello. There's a skirmisher. Hello, Mr. Skirmisher! Threes! See? That's what it does. It just freezes them and explodes them. It is a very. Very good gun, oh I heard explosions. And it's just 
I mean, you just go so well with the power armor. Oh, look, Miller Bear. Let's see how it goes against this bad boy. You see, if you get a critical, it just explodes them. It freezes them, and it explodes them. It's that simple. So I said it runs off cryo, cryo rounds. It is a very good one. Probably one of the best. I want to get You see, more mutants. Let's go. Oh wait, no, it's Brotherhood. Let's go help these Brotherhood guys out. Let's prove how better our armor is compared to them. Also, I will be mixing matches to power armors in the naked the future. If you want to check that out. Don't forget to press that little subscribe button at the bottom so you do not miss a thing. And I'm gonna leave it for this episode, guys. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more on this, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more. See you next time.